good morning to you all today we'll discuss about the experiment demo of the wireless channel simulation using matlab so this is the experiment number 5 session 1 we are going to discuss about the wireless channel simulation with the help of the matlab code so before that uh, already we have discussed about the wireless channel simulation in the powerpoint presentation and before going into the demo of the uh, program we will see what is actually uh, the faded channels the channels that we are going to discuss here are the relay and the rayson channels uh, what is actually the multipath fading so multiple reflected uh, waves arrives at the receiver from the transmitter to the receiver there is a possibility of many number of paths there is a multi path so the received signal is the faded signal uh, when we talk about the narrow band model so the different different waves have different phases because of the distance it will experience a different uh, phase so these waves may cancel or it may amplify each other so this results in a faded signal or we can say it is a fluctuating uh, amplitude signal at the receiving side it may combine constructively or destructively at the receiver so when we talk about the two channels a relay uh, multipath reception and rayson models this is the relay multipath reception the received signal amplitude depends on the location and the frequency of operation the antenna is moving the location varies or changes linearly with respect to the time so generally the displacement is nothing but the velocity into time that is velocity multiplied by the time is nothing but the displacement if the antenna is moving you will take into account that so the what are the uh, parameters which is um, uh, causes uh, fadingness and the probability of the fades and the duration of the fade and the bandwidth of the fade we have to consider in the relay multipath reception so generally we will discuss about the conventional models as a relay and rayson fading these two uh, is the conventional models uh, the relay fading is nothing but large number of reflected waves when there is no line of sight is present in the diagram it is shown there is no line of sight signal is there for the relay fading but for the rayson fading there will be a line of sight path is present between the transmitter and the receiver so the simple model we can construct with the help of the matlab simlink model and we can see what is a scatter plot of the signal you will see the signal constellation diagram the equation shows the transmit uh, signal and the receiving signal uh, when there is a experiencing a relay fading distribution so the rayson is infinitely large collection of reflected waves and also it has a line of sight so this can be appropriate uh, for the micro cells but for the relay fading uh, we can consider for uh, maybe macro cell in urban environment because there is no possibility of the line of sight in the urban environment in the micro cells there will be a surely will be getting a line of sight signal so we can consider it as a rayson fading but uh, this one is a complicated rayson fading is more complicated it has to process both uh, reflected waves and also the line of sight but relay it considers only the reflected waves that is non line of sight path only so regarding uh, the matlab code this is the matlab code that is we are generating the Uh, the simulink model to see uh, what is the scatter plot of the uh, relay distribution and rayson distribution uh, we are generating a matlab code uh, for this one you can attach this matlab code with the file uh, you can cut and copy in the uh, edit uh, editor window and you can run the program uh, so this is the matlab code right? i'll just uh, run so this is a simulink it has generated so uh, the bit source we are going to use in bernoulli binary that is plus 1 on minus 1 the bit source we are supplying it 200 by 1 matrix is given to the qpsk modulator for the lanpos modulated signal 
then it is passed through one path may be a relay is selected and another we have one more path as a rise in fading to understand the uh, after the relay faded or rise in faded signal what will be the scatter plot so the bernoulli function what we are setting is the probability of uh, zero is considered as a 0.5 so uh, it is equally equal probability is given for the bernoulli as a one bit uh, per frame we can select okay then and the qpsa is the input as a bit string that we have selected and the phase offset is pi by 4 and the input data type is kept as a double and the relay fading is the doppler shift that we are going to have a maximum doppler shift so what is the uh, doppler shift uh, that uh, we can show about this uh, doppler shift So the uh, Doppler shift equation is uh, V divided by lambda cos alpha. Generally, we'll say the Doppler shift is y twice it of the velocity divided by the free space velocity we can consider. So the Doppler shift with the effect of motion that we have to consider the receiver or the transmitter is moving. And uh, the rise in fading maximum Doppler shift uh, for the uh, Rayleigh given five and i'm selecting the delay vector the gain vector and the decibels and the initial seed we are keeping it and for the rise and fading as a line of sight doppler shift we are keeping it and we are selecting the delay vector gain vector and the initial seed though the uh, uh, scatter plot uh, after fading so We'll run it. This is a band emitted impulse response of the signal. Then we see the scatter plot of the relay fading. You see, this is a scatter plot of the relay fading, and this is a scatter plot of the Rayseian fading, the received signal scatter plot. So, this the relay fading is it is complex Let's stop the simulation then we can run So compared to the uh, relay, the Raisin is more complex, just fast. So the constellation. So compared to the uh, relay, Raisin is more complex. This is the received signal after Raisin fading. So this is how we have to generate with a simple simulating code we can generate with the help of any bit source passed through the QPSK modulator and the channel may be selected, the selected may be additive weight because you know it's the simplest one, it will follow the signal path but the conventional wireless fading signals are the relay and Raisian. One example for the non line of sight, and another one example for the line of sight. The coding is attached with the file, then you can run in your machine. Thank you.